What's going on, guys? It's Noganata here. I'm just kidding. I don't have an accent, but I do have a NASCAR accent. And here we have the DoorDash Michael Jordan Bubba Wallace design I made. And I had quite the idea, right? What would it be like racing on this oval? As you can see, it has a lot of banking on it and such. So what would it be like racing on it in a NASCAR style? So basically, I built this uh chevy camaro zl1 1le uh, i built a 650 horsepower i kept it at 3500 pounds which is what the nascars are pretty much at um, i also tuned it to be just like nascar with the tire pressures and everything like that like the stiffness uh, so you can download my design if you would like and so we're gonna go ahead and try this out here i think it's be pretty cool uh, so yeah, this is the car if you like it. Nice little noise coming from it. And that uh, video will be on. Uh, it is up now if you want to see me make this design. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm not sure how the difficulty is going to be when we get going here. Uh, for right now, it seems to be okay. I know the AI are kind of bad um, on this track. A little bit of lag spike there, but I think it's alright. I'm getting pushed down. That kind of looks like Kurt Busch a little bit, or Kyle Larson with the, the black car design. Of course, we're going for the bubble walls. Michael Jordan, as we get into turn three here, these cars are exactly the same. They're all using my tune, but I cannot control how the AI drive. For some reason, they are driving really slow up there, and they for, they like to brake on that corner. I don't know why, so we're going to go right around here. Uh, but I do think I'm probably going to need to change the difficulty. Uh, this is just a little bit of a test run, but it looks like it'd be pretty cool. It'd be really fun to play in like a multiplayer uh, type of game mode uh, where you can do a little bit of a bump draft and have a little bit closer racing than the AI, maybe go uh, too wide on some parts of it. But as of right now, trying to get a little bit of a bump draft with Kyle Busch, we'll call him, and the yellow car as we have... Uh, Christopher Bell catching up to us. Why are they breaking there? Okay, we gotta change this difficulty. Uh, let me know if you like this design, by the way. All right, so we got the difficulty change. We're on to highly skilled. I don't know. If I was on inexperience for some reason. I think I was doing um, like a drift video or something like that where I had to have, or no, it might have been like a montage where I had to have uh, me zoom by somebody. I don't know. Uh, we did that. Kyle Bush a little bit out of control there, out of turn two or gonna go right past him just got a little bit more speed uh, I wish the cold DoorDash logo could be seen but uh, this Camaro doesn't let you change that and that pack has got off to a crazy start but they're probably just gonna break again yeah I don't why do they keep doing that? they're so slow on that corner I don't, why what are you doing what are you what are you doing mate we just go past from seven to second and then one lap uh, I'm probably gonna change difficulty again we're probably gonna let's just go to unbeatable uh, we can get past this guy here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Go past Lewis. Nope. Let's just change it. Alright, we are on unbeatable difficulty now. As we go ahead and get past Mr. Bell on the inside of whoever is silver car is. Can't think of it at the top of my head. Looks like we got Kyle Busch in front of us here. As, uh, they're picking up a bit more speed. More speed than I would like. Let's see if we'll be able to catch up to him. If I get too big of a lead, maybe I'll do some type of pit stop. I don't know. Uh, so far, things are going good right now. It kind of feels like it, like it feels like a NASCAR the way I tuned it because it's really stiff and it, it, it likes to be on the banking more than it does on the flat surface. But they're breaking again. The, uh, the uh, love of a bump draft. There goes Kyle Busch's wing. Uh, we're just going to call him Kyle Busch because... Uh, oh, that guy was zooming. Who was that? Who was that? We're just going to call him Kyle Busch because... They don't have deliveries, but I'm just going by car, car colors, and Kyle Busch is known for the yellow car, the yellow M&M's car. As he's zooming back, we're going to try to block him from the back, and it works for a little bit. We're into ninth place. Let's see if we can make a big pass. I don't just want to pass them on turn four, but it's not my problem that they're really slow on turn four. And once again, if you want this design, um, it's, it's I posted it. Uh, my gamer tag is on YouTube channel. It's not okay. Just go ahead and get that if you would like. Uh, but here we go. We're zooming down the street in my 6-4. Going past number 8. 
Make a little pass on the inside. Oh, maybe. Oh, it worked. It worked. It worked. That's legal. It's not a double yellow line. Well, we'll still race it like it's Homestead. Because uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Homestead, even though it's uh, made like an egg. But it's okay. Let's use this slipstream to get past fourth place here. Can we get by? We're going to look at the inside. Not getting enough speed. We get a little bit of a slipstream. Off of, off of the back, they're going to break again. Okay, I got a really bad exit for some reason there. 164 miles an hour. You can tell it, it kind of races like a NASCAR. It's, it's quite nice. I'm going to go through here. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? It's, it's too wide. This is what I wanted to see. We're going to try to test the inside. I barely got past the checkpoint there. That's not going to work. Maybe we look for something on the outside here. I don't know. Kind of just got to go with the flow. This is, see, this is the kind of stuff I'd like if it was a uh, multiplier like this. This would be pretty cool. Everybody had the same car and such. Um, so if we want to do that one time, maybe we could. Uh, yeah, that's just too easy. That's just too easy. We're on the wing of somebody right now. We'll say that's Truex Jr. He's got the red car. On the ring of Truex, we're going to go down to the apron. It's not going to work. He's going to break for some reason. We lose a little bit of traction. It's going to be a drag race. We're going to cover Truex Jr. up. Hey, maybe if I get too far ahead, we'll go ahead and take a pit stop. Why not? It might be fair. Our fastest lap is a 36.5. Maybe we could set something after that. I'm thinking I'm just going to go to 10 laps, and then we'll call it a day after that because this isn't going to be too competitive. Um, but, oh, oh, the pits are closed. I was thinking about going into a pit stop. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll use that little corner right there as a pit stop here on this next lap. We'll just go ahead and do that. All right, we got ourselves a pretty good lead now. 13 seconds. I wish this track wasn't shaped like an egg, though. I wish it was more of an oval, but it's okay. We're using the bank, and we're doing good. Let's check the apron. Apron's pretty solid, but I still prefer the banking on this Camaro. I was going to do it with the Mustang, too, uh, but I didn't feel like it. The Mustang just didn't feel like an NASCAR. All right, let's go take a pit. We gotta take our pit stop. We'll pretend this is the pit stop. All right, left front off, left rear off. All right, right, right rear off, right rear front. We got some gas. As you can tell, I put the little uh, the gas tank as part of the car design. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we're we're gonna turn 12. We're pretty far behind. We gotta use the apron as the pit exit. Don't want to speed out of pit lane, but we're out of there now, so we're all good. We're good, chain the gang, and we are pretty far away. We have three laps to get into first place or at least as far as we can get but I think we'll be fine we're already catching up to the back of the pack for some reason they just don't know how to drive they're on unbeatable I don't understand they're unbeatable is pretty beatable but we're using the exact same car at the exact same tune I, I don't understand why are you so close I'm not that good at the game they just don't know how to race an oval I think that's the issue but we're in seventh now see maybe I have a move on the outside maybe no Check the inside. Good. Rubbin's racing. We got a little bit of a contact on that Cobalt car, but it's all good. We're in the sixth. Something happened to Abdullah there. A little bit slow. We're going to test the waters on the inside. Look at that. First place is already up there. Uh, we caught up very quickly. Why are they going so slow? I don't know. Come on. All right, we're good. There's two and a half laps left. Use the apron a little bit. They're braking again. Okay, first and second, I'm going a little bit far off. Uh, whoa, I don't know what I was trying to do there. A little bit of a pit maneuver, possibly. All right, let's test the inside. It's good, it's good. Yep, okay, third place, third place, not too bad. We only have a lap and a half to catch up to first, but I think we'll be fine, considering how slow these cars have gone all day. And Bubba Wallace is looking to get his first win in his career as well as the, the Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan 2311 team making it work with this new paint scheme, the Z01 door dash, as they say in NASCAR. I'd like to thank my Toyota Camry door dash Columbia 2311 Grubhub, and I grew not Grubhub, door dash, but we're all good. All right, we're in, we're in third down. We got Truex Jr. ahead of us and another guy ahead of us. We're going to make it for the final slipstream. We're trying to get the slipstream here. We're on the last lap. We're on the turn three. They're racing Clint Boyer. Jeff Gordon is very happy about this. Is there going to be a big one at Daytona? No, it's not going to be a big one. We're just going to go right up the inside. We're stuck on the apron. And he's going to break for some reason. 
He's gonna break for some reason. I don't understand why. And we're gonna win the race. Thanks for watching, by the way. I hope you enjoyed.